Hi, I'm Anders Sornberg. I work as product manager for IAR Systems in Uppsala, Sweden. Uh, yesterday at Embedded World we introduced our new add-on product for IAR Embedded Workbench called CRAM, which is a dynamic error checking tool that helps you identify runtime errors for typical C and C++ errors like integer overflow, arithmetic conversions, memory out of bounds writes, heap checking and so on. This is a really exciting product and we are uh, sure that si since we are compiler experts and debugger experts, we can make this product perform much better than anyone else in terms of memory footprint and speed footprint. So, I will now give a quick demo of the CRAM functionality and for this demonstration we will be looking at how to find arithmetic errors. As mentioned previously, we can also do memory checks, heap protection and out of bounds read and writes for example, but we concentrate on arithmetic errors in, in this uh, short demo. Uh, so if we look here, we will now run an example program. that will demonstrate a few of the errors that we can detect in runtime. So if you look at the screen, we now see that we have uh, a division by zero failure here. Uh, we get the information on what happened, at what cycle count this happened, and at what place in the file. And we also get color indication in the source, pinpointing the exact statement that went wrong. So let's move on. The next error that we hit upon happens to be an integer conversion failure. As you can see in the upper window, we try to take the value 500 and turn that into an 8-bit value, which gives us the, the value 244 as a result, which is probably not what we want. But this is a way too common error in typical C programs. Next example we have here is for a switch. Uh, it's good practice to cover all your cases uh, with a switch label. And in this case, we, we come in with a value 244, but we have no case label for that value and we have no default label in the switch case, in the switch statement. So uh, CRAM will stop and inform you that you uh, are trying to switch to an un unidentified case label. So that was a very quick rundown of what CRAN can do.